All right, it looks like Isaiah versus Tord. Tord is in Charizard. And I believe Isaiah's running Lostina. This is crazy. I actually did not believe in Charizard Pidgeot because of the hardcore control power. But looks like Tor just knows control. He knows how to play around it. He knows how to perfect his gameplay. And he's made it with the Charizard to the finals. First tournaments, tempor Temporal Fates, Meta. First tournaments... Uh, e block meta absolutely amazing or f block meta sorry absolutely amazing to see lostina also is making a dpu instead of running the control stadium of path to the peak he's running the temple of sino which is very interesting you can shut down cloth decks i guess <laughs> um very cool to see you guys. Let's see. I'm, I'm surprised they made the two strong decks. I think it's more the player than the deck at this point. These guys, they're always in the finals. They're always in the top four no matter what. It's going to be a very exciting game. Starting off, I believe it's going to be Torch starting off. Let's see how we're going to... No, it's going to be Isaiah actually. Isaiah is making his play happen. Isaiah is lost Dina. Uh, all he does is attach and pass. This is actually not great, showing he doesn't have any comfes in hand. No even nest balls or ultra balls or even a buddy poffin. That sucks. Maybe he doesn't run loss <laughs> comfes. No way he doesn't. But Torrid is very comfortable here, running the uh, Luminion, getting him exactly what he needs, which is probably an Arvin. And Arvin is going to be able to give him the items he need and that little uh, four seal stone as well to put on the luminion the only problem with luminion is now you're leaving a two prizer on board but this is actually gonna feel so good for the tord here there we are we pick up the arvin into the body poffin for seal stone it was either body poffin or nest ball really not sure if uh, charizard's running any nest balls i don't see any and arvin is gonna pick up with the buddy poffins what now we can also pick up a rare candy with the four seal stone or we can keep it in hand i believe we just put it down and use it the only uh, yeah we don't want to get ionoed so there it is we're gonna play down what is that is that another shoe pit no what is that i have no idea what that is oh clear cliffy Cliffy? Oh, it's a Cliffy that jumps into a Charmander. Okay. It's a Cliffy, I think, the one that you can make it uh, anything, right? Or it's a Cliffy that draws seven. Oh, it's a Cliffy that draws seven, right? Let me check it out real quickly. Really cool. Anyways, and a Pidgeot. So now if we lose this Charmander, we lose uh, a turn. So this is going to be big. We need to be very careful. It's a Cleffa, guys. It's a grasping draw Cleffa that can draw seven. Wow. Very smart idea. Another Charmander. Oh, no, no. We just draw back the Charmander with that fire. We put the Defiance Belt on it. Get rid of that Defiance Belt. And then draw up to get seven cards. Absolutely it's genius there. Absolutely genius. Cool turn there. He got everything he needs. That, now he doesn't... Oh, he does have another Charmander. That was my only contention here. He doesn't have a Charmander, but he does. Now the only thing he's going to be worried about is getting rid of that Luminion. I think he does get rid of it with the Collapse Stadium. I'm not sure if we... Uh, no, we didn't activate the Force Seal Stone either. So we can pick up a Rare Candy still with the Force Seal Stone. Uh, look at Isaiah Bradner's hand really quickly. Let's, let, let's look at it for a second again. Beautiful hand there. There's a Giratina and a Giratina. V no, these are both. No, v, v and V. -star. No, both are V stars, right? No, both are Giratina V stars, a Four Sea Stone, and an Iron Leaves. This is really bad. So he's going to have to play the Iron Leaves, move it forward. He can't even Seal Stone on the Iron Leaves. Another bad turn. He has nothing. No, he can't play anything. He's going to have to iron leaves, move it forward, and he still can't do anything. Yeah, look. Pass. 
No, such a bad game for Isaiah. I can't believe it. How does this happen in the finals? How does Tor do it? What kind of cut is it? Magician's cut? That's crazy. Isaiah just can't play this game anymore. He's so far behind. I mean, honestly, we could just jump <laughs> 10 minutes. I guess he does have the iron leaves now, but I think iron leaves... No, iron leaves doesn't die here. Iron Leaves doesn't die, so we could kill the Charmander or the Charizard EX. But it's a tall order. We need to draw into a Colrus. We need to draw into a Colrus and Colrus find us a green energy. That's the only way Isaiah can make it happen. Such a bad turn here. I'm so sorry, Isaiah. This feels so bad because he can't even play his own deck. Really impressive there. Tord's got an amazing first turn, whereas Isaiah did not have fun at all. That Cleffa is insane. That Cleffa is the right way to go. It looks like there's a Bidoof in there. Guys, we're going to look at the top 16 deck. Oh, man. So genius. Tord is just a genius. He just wants to make sure he has consistency. So he adds cards that just let him draw, even though he knows how, that he can draw. So Luminion, Cleffa... A Bidoof and a Pidgeot EX. So much drawing there. So smart. I can't believe he fits all these in 50 cards. Okay, there we are. We move forward because Khalifa has free retreat costs. I mean, such a broken card. Let's you draw seven and then retreats for free. Right? Retreats for free. <laughs> it's broken. Yeah, retreats for free. Absolutely broken card. It's so good, guys. That's insane. The only problem is if you run uh, uh, Team Evil, it's it's tough because you don't know. But it's I would still run it even if you run Team Evil because let's say you don't get your Arvin turn one uh, or you don't get that energy you needed to attack. Now you can actually... Yeah, there we are. Iron Leaves activate. But... Tord is so genius, he realizes, like, okay, the guy has nothing. All he can do is he has to draw into a green energy and attack. Luckily, Isaiah drew into that energy. I don't think it was in his hand before, which is crazy. And if Charizard was on board, he would have killed him. Now Pidgeot is the one that dies, unfortunately. I don't know why we left Pidgeot there. We should have kept the Cleffa there, I think. I think maybe that was a mistake. If we knew that Isaiah is going to attack and he has nothing else to do, why would we give him Pidgeot EX to attack? Potentially, we're going to just collapse that away. Is that what we're going to have to do here? That's a tall order, guys. We lose a full Pidgeot EX. I guess we do have the uh, Bidoof, uh, Veril, I guess, at this point. So we don't really care about the Pidgeot. I like how Tord cuts his own deck after he gives anybody cut. <laughs> Just to make sure the cut didn't do any bad things to him. <laughs> Absolutely cool. He knows what he's doing. He knows how he, he he knows how to shuffle his deck. He knows how his deck feels like. He knows what he wants. There's the four seal stone. Looking for what? Another Charizard? Because you have the rare candy. What is that? A char is that a Charmeleon? Not sure what that is. And a Collapse Stadium. So I think it is the Collapse. I think we're going to get rid of this Pidgeot EX so we don't lose it. Like in a... Or we could just attack with the Charizard EX and win game anyways. And leave the Pidgeot there. And kind of... But well, the problem is now Pidgeot dies to a Cram, right? Well, Cram has a tall order. There's zero cards in the Lost Zone. So, I mean, Cram's not... Oh, no, we don't actually... I mean, I guess Luminion is the other card that you do want to lose with the Collapse Stadium. So, it makes sense. Let's see. There we are. We retreat the Pidgeot. I'm going to attack. We could have just attacked with the Pidgeot, but I think we're just going to keep it safe for now. So he's not ready to lose the Pidgeot. So so he, he's okay with losing Pidgeot, two prizes from Pidgeot, but he's not okay with losing two prizes from the Luminion. Very interesting. 
There we are. We drew a chorus. Absolutely insane. Isaiah is getting all his top decks now. Everything he needs slowly, one by one. There we are. We have everything in there we need, to be honest, except that energy. Uh, at this point, actually, we do need it. Well, we do have Super Rod, so we actually don't need it. Wow, every single card in there we need. We don't get a cram still. Well, we do have the Body Puffin now, right? I see a Body Puffin in hand, no? No, there's no way that's Body Puffin, because he would have used it. No, we lose a Nest Ball. We're going to lose a Nest Ball. At least now we can use a Force Seal Stone on the Giratina V. Get, but but this is so slow. Isaiah now, this is the unoptimal turn. Now all PGR EX needs to do. I don't think Isaiah can even attack this turn. So now PGR EX, all he has to do is find the boss's orders next turn. And bring in this uh, Giratina V. And I know he has a choice belt. So if he can draw into that choice belt, I mean... No, it's still not game. He he still can't kill it, even if he draws into the choice belt. He can't kill the Giratina V, not now. So Isaiah can survive. His Giratina V is going to be very, very hurt, but it will survive. I don't think there's a way for Tor to kill the Giratina V one shot, unless he runs the belt, which he doesn't. He does run Defiance Band, but that doesn't work right now. He's running primer, Prime Catchers. Yeah, he doesn't run the belt. Anyways, the belt wouldn't work because it's on EX. That's true. So, very interesting. So, I don't think Tord can actually kill this V. Giratina V at all. So, even if Isaiah plays the V, it doesn't hurt him here. The Giratina V. So, let's go for it. Yeah, play the Giratina V. Put a Force Seal Stone on him. You're going to take a lot of damage, but that's fine. Four seal stone finds you the second comfort potentially. I think we get this attack in. Or 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 you get a jet energy with the four seal stone, right? You get a very jet energy or the comfort. Or or a body puffin at this point. I don't see a body puffin. I do see a cat a, a belt. No, no, that's a prime catcher. Bro, I can't believe I drew a Prime Catcher. Like, it's such a good card, man. I, I just pulled it out of pre-release uh, set. I'm so lucky. Which is crazy, because the first time I played pre-release, I didn't pull anything, and I lost the pre-release 0-3. to three. I lost, It was such a bad game. To I was so unhappy by that pre-release. But the second pre-release, I won the whole pre-release, because I got a Mirada on deck, and I knew it was strong. And I pulled a Prime Catcher, which is crazy, from that pre-release box. I'm so I was so happy. I couldn't believe it. People were offering 50 bucks for a Prime Catcher. They're like, anybody that pulled a Prime Catcher 50? I was like, the second I pulled it, I waved it around. I was like, I need it, I need it. So nobody, like, bashed me with it. So uh, I'm so happy. And I have a Master Ball, too. I pulled a Master Ball from the winnings because I won, like, 10 packs. All right, Gertina V moves forward. It's not going to do anything. It does get that Lozon in. Gets the Isaiah hand up. I don't think Charizard is going to get a bit... Uh, He's going to be able to kill this Giratina V. There's no way he can. So Giratina V is going to be able to survive. And it's going to be a very unhealthy Giratina V. He's going to die soon. But it's fine. As, as long as Isaiah gets a second Giratina V next turn, he's going to be happy. And there we are. We're going to put the two lost zone. Absolutely amazing. It's exactly what Isaiah needs. Okay, I guess he doesn't need that Giratina V, which is crazy. I, I thought, unless he drew two Giratina Vs, I, I'm sure he needed that one. Very interesting. Isaiah Bradner is playing from behind, but I don't think he loses anything this turn. He he just balances this turn out, which is great. And then he can still go after PGIEX with the cram. Oh, I wish he did get the cram attack there, but he just couldn't pull it off. Just comfy is not, not being there for him for two turns. Just really hurts him out. I guess we're going to play for the Charmeleon. Very interesting. Isaiah still has a way out versus the Charizard EX. You can always do the de de Devo. So let's go and find if and check his deck and see if he has any Devos in there. Isaiah's TM Devo list. I don't see TM Devo. No TM Devo. Unfortunately, no TM Devos for Isaiah. We do see the Prime Catcher, and he does run two Buddy Poffins. He just didn't pull them out. 
All right, baby, let's go. What do we got here? Isaiah is using the Bennett, which is really cool, guys. He gets to use a Cold Rest one more time by sacrificing his own Bennett. And they both Evo from Shupet. He, and he uses both. Really, really cool idea from Isaiah. Okay, Tord is using PGI EX potentially here for a band or a belt, some kind of belt, some kind of probably the choice belt. No, he gets Iono. Why you have an Iono in hand? No, that's weird. Does he not? Does he not see? I don't think he sees any boss's orders in there. Oh, he only runs two, so it's potential. I do. I do think he prized one, so he, I think there's only one in there. I don't know why he keeps pulling his Ionos. There we are, leaving 180 damage. That's not bad, actually, because now Isaiah could potentially... I mean, he cannot even KO it, to be honest. Isaiah lost game, right? The only thing Isaiah can do here is go after the Pidgeot EX. And then once he gets the Pidgeot EX, he can actually... He needs to set up a Giratina V in the back, go after Pidgeot EX with the Cram, and force the Tor to pull a boss or a prong catcher with the Bay Barrel because he didn't pull it with the Pidgeot EX tur last turn for some reason. That has to be the only way to do this. You're gonna have to retreat this Garatina V and 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 figure out a way to pull. It. He needs his prime catcher. Isaiah needs a prime catcher. This sucks because Isaiah doesn't have the pieces he needs. He's just so behind. I kind of want to just jump to game two. Because if we had like a prime catcher here, we could catch up, I believe. Greninja does get us some draw here, which is really good. Uh, we can put... Okay, it's two switch. I guess we get the switch here. We, we still can't get to the Pidgeot EX. Then the last thing Isaiah can do is TM Evo, but he can't. TM Devo, sorry, but he can't. He doesn't have TM Devo. The switch is cool. We get one more draw out of this. But I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. We need a prime catcher. That's the only way we can win this game. Because we have to force Isaiah uh, toward to lose that Pidgeot EX. And we have to force him to come after us and, and, and chase the, 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 the Giratina. We cannot just give him Giratina for free. Unfortunately, there we don't get it off. So what we're going to have to do is just attack with Cram and lose it anyways. Because Giratina V does not get the KO here. Even the V-Star does not do it. We're just so behind. We're too behind, guys. It looks like Tord has everything he needs on the board. Even an Iona will not hurt Tord with the Bibero. Really cool. Really cool. He did have a catcher. That's crazy. I didn't see his hand. So we have everything we need then. So just uh, play, uh, attach, retreat, and then super rod in the energy and then uh, attack and pass. Attach, retreat, super rod in the energy, and then attack. Or does he not super? Oh my god, what's happening here? Okay, so I guess he uses a switch here. I guess he uses the switch. This is really bad because now if I, Isaiah loses this, Giratina V, we lose a big guy. We lose something big. Unfortunately, Isaiah just did not set up a second Giratina V, which is crazy. He had it in hand. He just chose to not play it. 
Also, doesn't he have a Giratina V-Star in hand? Or did he get that shuffled in with the Iono? Oh, I think he shuffled that back in. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's it. That's all we get, is we get to attack. I thought we have a Giratina V-Star, but we don't. We don't even have our Super Ride anymore. We, got, we shuffled that in. All right, Tord Reclive moves Cliffy forwards. Smart idea there, he does need that draw, especially if he's gonna Iono. We do see a prime catcher there though. So he can go after that Giratina, which is crazy. If he gets that Giratina V, I think he wins game, right? I think Isaiah scoops. Because I say Isaiah doesn't have a second, uh, a team Devo, and we're gonna see a second Charizard coming out. So, oh, he puts back the Luminion. That's so genius. I never even thought about that. That's crazy. You know, I never thought about that. Putting back the Luminion. Why not? There's the boss. One, one last boss left in the whole deck, I think. Clef is so broken. It's a free retreat cost. I, 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 that's crazy. That's the most broken card in the game right now. Wow. That balanced everything out for Charizard. He finally has something that he can retreat around with. That gives him a benefit. It gives him freaking seven draw if he's behind. Like let's say he gets Iono under some trash and he doesn't have a Bebero set up. He takes out one turn, gets seven cards in hand. And loses the Cleffy, that's fine, but it's so good. That's so good. Cleffy is so broken. I think you could use it in any deck, though. So you could also use it in Lost Tino. There's the Iono. But the free retreat cost that Lost Tino is using is the Shoe Pet. That's what's happening. I get it now. Tor is going to be Barrel. Wow. Just has no way to play anything out. There's a Super Rod. That's not bad. I mean, he, he's got game here. Yeah, he's got game. There's no way Isaiah Bradner can come back from this. Two Charizard DXs set up already. I just don't see it. We know you're going to move Chupet forward, so let's not mess around here. No, he moves the Confet. Okay. Very interesting. Tord is a genius, guys. I mean, Tord's done it. Tord's done it, guys. I mean, Isaiah has nothing. He has a cram. That's it. Not, not even a Giratina. If he plays Giratina V right now, he loses game. He can't play Giratina V, so he has to rely on Sableye and Cram, and that's such a bit. You can't rely on Sableye, Cram, when, when Jirachi's on board, and when you don't run TM Devo either. What, how are you going to rely on those two? You can't. So Lostina is crazy that he's running. I'm actually surprised that he's running Lostina. Without a way to Devo. I'm actually surprised. What what is how, how does Isaiah deal with Charizard DX? It's actually a really bad matchup for him, right? Because he has to set up Giratina V's and 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 the Charizard likes to have things on board to attack to attack into them. I'm sur I'm just sur I don't know, man. There's something weird. They are taking out the Bidoof is actually big. That's but, but it doesn't matter at this point. Actually, it's not big at all. Because he has everything he needs on board. He doesn't need nothing. What, 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 what Isaiah is hoping here is he can control the Tord a little bit. But that's not going to happen. I think Tord is going to do something here. You could retreat this, right? Yeah, he has the switch in hand, I believe. No, he doesn't. That's super odd. I mean, he can bring it out with the Arvin. Yeah, you just switch out... And take out the cram, and that's big. Oh, he doesn't even run switch. Oh my god, no, he doesn't run switch. 
Looks like we don't even run switch. No. So he already used the prime catcher. So now he doesn't have anything. So now Isaiah can actually control toward. Actually, there might be a way. There might be a way, but we don't have TM Devos to slow down the... I don't know. We're going to have to go after these small guys. That's your only way. There is a Greninja there. We didn't use a single Mirage Gate yet. So maybe we could do something special. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how Isaiah does. Tord again is stuck this turn. He has nothing he can do. He needs to lose this Bibero. It's actually a detriment for him now. Doesn't run switch. Really bad actually. Surprised that... This is the only bad thing about the Charizard decks is they actually get completely played around. Like... If you're smart, you just completely control the Charizard EX. That's why they can't run the barrel in the Charizard EX, because of this control meta. You would have to run a Switch Prime, or two Switch, or a Professor Stu, something crazy, man. Like, you need something. Isaiah can't play a single Giratina. I mean, I guess this is the only turn he can. He he can play Tina now, I guess, because he, he knows as long as he doesn't kill that Bibiril toward the stock. So yeah, he just passes. But he doesn't even play a Tina. <laughs> there it is, guys. You see the big flaw of the freaking Charizard deck is it's totally controlled, completely. Tord has no way to move his Charizard forwards without losing the barrel. Just no way. Just really tough. And he's and he keeps drawing, but it's not like it's gonna help him in any way. To be honest, if Isaiah just keeps him there, can you believe Isaiah could actually potentially win? Because there's no prime catcher now. And there's and we already Evo twice. We literally have to Evo a third time, and I don't think we have that much energy in the deck. There we are, finally. Isaiah is one turn late, but he finally sets up the Giratina V and passes, right? You pass. You don't even call rest. You don't even call rest. What you do is you reduce your hand just for the Iono. So you need to get rid of that Buddy Poffin. And you need to get rid of that Jet Energy. But that's it. You don't, you don't do anything. So I could Jet Energy the Kaufe forward. To be honest, you thin your deck in your hand for the Iona. That's all you do this turn, Isaiah. You don't even attack. So move the Comfy forward with the Jet Energy. You don't even... I don't think you call rest, to be honest with you guys. I think you keep it in hand so you can put it back in deck if you get iono Yeah, look, the colors give him zero value here. Literally zero value. What, Super Rods? Get out of here. Literally zero value. L literally did not need a single card in there. Maybe one Super Rod, I guess. But he could have found that out with the uh, the confes. Yeah, he just, he just threw the pocket gear. This is actually really bad. I don't like that he threw out the pocket gear. Isaiah is opening himself to get Iono. I don't know why he's doing this. At least keep the pocket gear in hand. So you, when you get Iono, you can actually pull something out. He can he can actually rock sand. I guess maybe that's 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 why he's not worried. Can you do it, Isaiah? Can you do it? Can you just keep him there? Don't attack! Don't attack! Don't attack! Just rock sand and pass. The problem is if he rock sands, uh, doesn't like be barrels on board. He needs to attack it for rock sand to be useful. So you'd have to rock sand attack and then pass. I think you just jet energy. Yeah, you just pass. I think Tord loses this turn. Actually, I think Tord lost game. Yeah, he has nothing to play. Yeah. 
<laughs> no! No, I'm so mad! What is this trash? You call this a final? This is what Pokemon wanted. This is what Pokemon wanted. This trash by making control a real thing. And tr disgusting, man. What is this, man? Pass, 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 seven turns. No game in the world you would see this. There it is, the Turo. That's what he was looking for. I knew he was missing something. Now Isaiah is stuck. Because he didn't Evo the Giratina V. He didn't do anything for it. He didn't even use a single Super Rod. If toward here, Ionos, he loses the game. Two cards in... Oh my god, two cards in Tord's deck. Holy moly. Is that a boss and... Uh, wait, wait. What was the card? A boss and a freaking... Is that a boss? Oh my god, he needed that boss so bad. I guess he, he does win game in one turn because Isaiah played down the Giratina V. He should have never played down the Giratina V. So Tord wins in one turn. No, don't do that. What is this? Why would you do that? Why? All you need... Well, I guess he's worried that maybe he gets... He loses one energy? I don't... What? Three cards in the deck. It doesn't even matter if he bosses at this point or not. Isaiah loses the game. Unless... Now I know why he left the energy in there. Because... He wants to retreat the Bidoof. Now I get it. Okay. There it is. Isaiah Scoops finally. We can go to game two. Alright, let's go. Finally. Oh my god. Such a bad game for Isaiah. It's been so bad. Alright, let's see what Isaiah wants to do here. Game two is on the way. Look at that. Charizard X. Oh, Turu's gone. We don't even need any of these cards early. Except the Prime Catcher, potentially. And the Rotom. We didn't need that Rotom. We don't get a Rotom this turn. Isaiah doesn't care about his prizes at all. Another great start for Tori. With the Charmander on board, Isaiah, you better have a better start this game. Tord is going to... Pick a Pidgeot Charmander or a Pidgeot Cleffy. Cleffy's so broken. If you can find Cleffy with uh, Buddy Poffman, that's broken. Let me check. Yeah, that's broken. That's so crazy. You can actually Buddy Poffin Cleffa. Oh my god. That's so good. That's so good. Alright, what's Tord gonna do here? He doesn't have Rotom, he doesn't have Luminion. He can go find that with an Ultra Ball. He can also Nest Ball in a Bibera, a Bidoof, potentially. No TM Evo. Oh, that's it? He passes? Okay. Isaiah draws the one card. And Iron leaves again. I don't see a Chorus, but we do get to draw with the Greninja. First thing we do is draw. I don't see a Comphase either. Let's see what we drew into. Oh my god, no. Oh, Nest Ball, thank god. We get a Comphase? That's great. We can actually play Comphase now. I don't see a Jet Energy, so it's going to be a little bit wonky, but... Oh, Chorus. We do have Chorus. Then, so do you draw first or do you call this? Interesting. Good question. Maybe that was weird. Maybe we should have called us first. I don't think he drew into the colors. So maybe we should have called us first. I don't know. Mind games. 
Isaiah, it doesn't matter really. Okay, there it is. Force your stone is going to be trashed, which is crazy. I guess we didn't get any value from it last turn. Uh, there's not a lot of cards you need besides Mirage Gate at a certain time. Let's go get the Comfy out, I believe. Yep. It's either Comfy or Gratina. Okay, he's got every monster, every Pokemon. What does he choose to do? Damn, doesn't have a lot of energies left. I mean, he's gonna pick up a comfort for sure, right? He's just counting right now. It doesn't have a lot of energy in the hand. There's the Mirage Gates. Three Mirage Gates, I see, at least. Oh, he's going to bring out Garatina. So he doesn't even play the game with the, with a the Comfe. So does he move the Garatina forwards? And, but he doesn't have jet energy, so he's not going to be able to use it. I don't think he has jet energy in hand, does he? So he's not gonna and he's not gonna be able to use it. He just leaves it on board. Torrid is so fast. Now he's already got his Charizard DX uh, unlocked. Prime Catcher is broken for the Charizard EX. You can actually just run Pidgeot EX now. Oh my god, he did have the Jet Energy. He did have it. He has so many energy cards in hand. It's crazy. He has at least four energy cards in hand. And then with that Jet Energy was a fifth one. Oh my god, that's so much energy. He didn't leave a single energy for the deck. Yeah, he has at least six ener five energies in hand. Or four right there. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that artisan. You definitely don't need any more energies. But that jet energy was pretty valuable. Toward here is just going to go ahead, rare candy, the Pidgeot, then rare candy, the Charizard. And put a Charmeleon on the back. Oh my god, such a good turn here for Tori. I mean, Isaiah, I don't know how you counter this. That's so crazy that that's all we need to do. Like, now Charizard DX is, is done. He's He's got it now. I mean, like, that's that's it. This is the perfect turn. You don't play any single card on the side except maybe a Jirachi. That's it. You never even Evo the Charmeleon. You never ever Evo the, the Charmeleon. You really don't need to Eva the Charmeleon until you need to. Especially with Pidgeot. If it's if Pidgeot stays on board, you just never Eva the Charmeleon. Towards is showing you Charizard DX is the best deck in the game. Buddy Puffin's so good. Bringing you Bidoof and a Jirachi. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god. Tor doesn't have to Evo the Bidoof, but he just keeps it there. I mean, Isaiah is not going to be able to control the Tor. Not like other control decks do. I wonder how Tor does against the uh, control. I'm surprised he didn't lose a single game this whole tournament. That's amazing. You guys can see his record up top, 11-0. Did not lose a single match. That's crazy. From 15, from 15 matches. I've never seen something like that before, bro. What? This guy's unbeatable.
I mean, I mean, honestly, Thor is just so active right now. There's nothing Isaiah could really do. I'm so sad that Control is a real fit meta because Charizard DX is the best deck in the game. It would have, it would have, Charizard DX would have been just so big. I mean, it's so big right now. Imagine. It would have been so huge. Wow, Tor doesn't even evil. What? I guess we... That's weird, because he had the Ultra Ball in hand. And he had Pidgeot's ability. So it's actually crazy that he didn't evil. I guess he realized I cannot kill this uh, Giratina V. So I'm just going to leave it so I can actually kill it. And let's say he does attack me next turn. I can still choice belt and kill the Giratina V star. Maybe that's his thinking process. Let's see. Because with a choice belt, he still can kill a Giratina V star. And he can get that choice belt with the Pidgeot EX. And he has Ultra Ball for the Charizard. So he doesn't even need to do anything special. So right now, if Isaiah Bradner goes into Giratina V-Star, he actually is going to be... It's going to be a detriment for him. Let's see how he responds to this. Jet energy is galore. Jet energy is everywhere. This whole game, field is just a minefield of jet energies. What's the plan? Next ball for a second gear, you know? There's the Giratina V. Wait, he just used the Mirage Gate? Okay. What, what just happened? Look at the effects. <laughs> Stop the gameplay just for the effect. They're so proud. Okay, so that's crazy that we actually put it on the weak Giratina V, but that's the only Giratina that can actually attack because we cannot evo Giratina V star on the second one. So that means Isaiah has Giratina V star in his hand and he's gonna do it. Actually, he doesn't have to. Well, why would you put so much energy on yourself if you're not gonna Giratina V star, right? So he's definitely gonna Giratina V star and now he's gonna pull that Comfy back. Oh, this is huge. Can Isaiah do this? Oh my god, I didn't see the prime catcher in his hand. This is huge. This is insane. Isaiah is doing it. Because we don't we do get the Charizard DX, but it still doesn't kill us. It doesn't kill us. And we don't have a choice belt. So do we, we do get a Charizard DX, but we don't get a choice belt. I think we move. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, I guess the Charmander already has an energy, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, look at that. He didn't draw anything. So now we have to be barrel. Then we have to go find the Charizard DX. And then we have to Evo into Charizard DX. Oh my god, no. Why would you do your body puff in? We actually needed... A, I guess I get it. Charmander or Pidgeot. But I think we could, we need something to fodder for the Ultra Ball. And body puff in was it. You should have just left that Charmander in the back and moved the Charmeleon forwards. Now you had to Buddy Poffin. I get it. You, now you get a Pidgeot. Yeah. It's going to be a Charmander, right? No, he just doesn't. Yeah, okay, okay. It's going to be these two. Okay, he doesn't even get the Charmander. Just leaves it in the deck. I don't know why. There it is. He puts the Charizard DX. 
gets the two energies. I'm surprised. Well, maybe he's running out of energy. That's why. But they're not going to go after your Charmander. They're going to go after your Bibero and, and move it forward. So Tord is uh, making interesting decisions. He's not finishing the plays as he sh should. Like, he could add a Charmander on board. But he, maybe he just thinks two is enough. There's the second evil. Whoa, that's big. So we're going to Iono in. Yeah, I don't think we do that. We're going to Iono in the hand. And then we're in the energy, this last energy we have. And we'll go after Bradner here. Oh, he doesn't even put it back. He just... Nice, nice idea, actually. Much better. Oh, he be bears before he I I all knows. There's the Charmander that you should have just put in there. Oh, I guess you can put the Radiant Charizard now. It doesn't matter really. I don't think you do put the Radiant Charizard because then you really get locked in. You don't put the Radiant Charizard down. He's thinking, no oh, man. Now Isaiah can really lock in toward, especially since. No, Tor didn't use his Prime Catcher, so I guess that's why he doesn't care. But that's a peculiar decision for Tor to make, to play down the Radiant Charizard that, that early. Especially knowing he doesn't have that much energy in the deck. That's crazy. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe he made a mistake, we'll see. Isaiah does lose 6 card hand for 4. That's not going to be great. Never feels great to be judged. I don't know what he's writing down. The third Iona of the game. Or second. What's he writing down? Second Iono in the game. <laughs> he doesn't even see his cards that he drew. He just doesn't care about them. He's so mad. No Giratina V star for the second Giratina V. Super Rod putting in Pidgeot. This is amazing. I mean, he didn't really have any other options. I mean, you're not going to put the Pidgeot in. Now, if he actually loses that Pidgeot, he's going to regret not putting the Pidgeot in. Super Rods are very scarce in the Charizard DX deck. So Charizard DX here kills the Giratina V because of that Choice Belt. Oh my god, this is so insane. I don't know how Tor just draws everything he needs every single time. It's crazy. No, everybody else is like suffering and talking really badly about the game and nobody likes RNG. No, not Tord. Tord loves RNG. I don't know, I don't know how he does it. Wow, Tord runs two Turos. Wow. That's how he gets out of there. That's insane. And he actually picks it up completely. And it's a supporter, so he can find it with Luminion. He doesn't need Pidgeot. It's really cool. I guess his only bad matchup would be Control, of course, and Sea Power, right? Doesn't really have bad matchups. Let's see if that Giratina V can activate. Because Tord can just keep Ionoing every single turn. So Isaiah is losing more cards and more cards every single turn. Poke Gear is amazing here. Getting that Colrus out is what he needs. Not a single Colrus. So mad. So mad. So mad. That's crazy, not a single Colrus. I'm, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. You would be too. I promise you, you would be mad.
Another Poké Gear? No, we're just we're just still mad. No, oh, that's so bad. I mean, I'm so mad. I see Isaiah. He's like, what the hell is wrong with you, deck? Maybe you should have Mirage Gated first, Isaiah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe I mean, obviously you do Mirage Gate first, Isaiah. So you did mess that one up, Isaiah. But I think Isaiah just figured the Poké Gear was gonna do something. Did nothing. Yay, more special effects. Woo! Woo! <laughs> nice. Can Tord make it happen here? Isaiah is missing a couple of pieces. He needs a Giratina V star. And he also needs to... No, 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 no. I think he's got, he's done though. The problem with the uh, with the Charizard matchup, guys, is he just Iono's you six times in a row, and it's really tough to play the game like that. Especially because every time you get ahead, you the Iono hurts more and more. So I totally get it, man. Isaiah's struggling here. Isaiah has a good matchup against the control, but very bad matchup against the Charizard DX. So it's tough, guys. It's tough to know what to do. Whoa, there's the Greninja. There's the Colorus. Oh my god. That's amazing. Stop giving me new things. I want to see that conf, uh, uh, that Giratina play right now. I want to see Giratina. Colorus into the Giratina. What is this? Ultra Ball? Oh, he had Ultra Ball. Oh, he had Giratina V. Okay. All right, now he's going to Colorus into what then? Doesn't need anything in there. That's amazing. This is amazing. Isaiah's making it happen, boys. He's done everything he's needed to do. He has a jet energy in hand. No, he doesn't. He can move forwards. That Radiant Gr uh, Charizard doesn't hurt as much as you think it hurts you because there's no more choice belt. So it does not kill you anymore. So Radiant Charizard is not even a threat. Unfortunately, Tord put the choice belt on the wrong guy, which makes sense. He wanted to get that kill. But this is why you need a Defiance Vest, or this is why you need the extra Vitality Vest, but this is not good. Tor just needs to be able to make sure he can make one more Char Charizard and he's gonna be fine. I don't think he even Evo's a Pidgeot at this point. If he can just make one more Charizard on the back end somehow with a rare candy Ultra Ball, he doesn't even need to worry about uh, playing anything down. He just moves the Charizard forwards, Evo's, kills the Giratina V. Yikes, where's this? Oh my god, no. What is happening? I, I get it. Isaiah's counted it out. He's like, okay, if I don't kill this Charizard DX. But, but, but I have a question though. Why give him a turn? So he needs a what? What are you doing, Isaiah? I guess Isaiah doesn't want to get Ionoed. I get it. But why, Isaiah? Because now he can kill your Giratina. Well, he doesn't kill it, but he leaves a lot of damage on it. And you're still going to get Ionoed. What? Interesting. Let's see how this pays off. Pans out. So now Charizard just bosses in the Tina or kills the Giratina uh, or the Greninja. 
just drew into his boss, which is crazy. He does have the choice belt on it. So it's doing 270 damage right now. He needs 10 more damage somehow. He doesn't have it. He needs just 10 more damage. Giratina V-Star is living on 10 damage. Two hundred forty, two hundred and seventy, two hundred and seventy HP gone with one attack. Two hundred and seventy. 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 Two hundred This ball, the last Giratina V, just so you can make sure that the Charizard can win next turn. <laughs> so we have no way to come back. Okay, I guess we move for the Bennett now. But Bennett is not, not good because Bennett is actually countered by Ghost. So it's actually a really bad matchup for... It's really bad for this matchup. So this is really not looking great for Isaiah. Isaiah, I don't see a way for you, not with the Bennett EX to win. I guess you can lock the Charizard out of the game. It's just so late. You should have done this earlier, man. Isaiah lost a turn. I don't know, man. Isaiah just waste turn for nothing. Waste turns for nothing. There's the V-Star. Like, why did he take all that damage? He could have killed the Charizard DX. He just didn't want to get iono But that's fine, man. Get iono so you don't take that much damage. Now this char now this tiny little Charmander is gonna kill you. Spit in your face. There you are, and you still get Ionod. He doesn't even need to look for his Charizard EX anymore. He just attacks you with the Charmander, spits in your face. With the Ember Coal. Really bad idea there, Isaiah, I think. See how this pans out. But I think he lost all momentum. That turn. You cannot take it easy in this game. Wow. Tord gets everything he needs to save himself. He gets an Ultra Ball. Well, I mean, he, he could go for the... Ultra Ball, get the Charmeleon, put the Charmeleon on top of the Char 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 Charmander. Or he could just Ultra Ball for the Charizard DX and, and hope to God he gets it. Just Ultra Ball for the Charizard DX, then the Barrel, hope to God you get... Oh, Pidgeot DX. This is not great. I don't think Torch should be setting up a Pidgeot right now for Isaiah. Because I... That's the... Well, I guess now he sees it. He sees that Isaiah cannot kill him. Because there's no second Giratina V. So why not? This is so bad for Isaiah right now. Isaiah, I do, I do not see a way for Isaiah to come back with this. He just cannot push that much damage out. There's the Collapse Stadium getting rid of the second charge man there. And now he, uh, Isaiah loses a uh, Confair. One hour and a half for a comfort. Oh, don't act like he ha has any sentimental value to you. Oh, bad turn. Oh, he does have the... Uh, the what is that, pepper? What the hell is a pepper? Why is it called pepper? It's called pepper in his hand. The Arvin is called pepper? The Aiden is... The Arvin is called Pepper in his hand. What? Or is that a second card? No, it's just called Pepper. <laughs> There's the Giratina V, killed with a Radiant Charizard Spit. Didn't even need it. Could have just uh, attacked with the Charizard. Charmander, sorry. I don't know why he did that. 
actually. Could have just... What? Why did Tor do that? Why didn't he just leave the Charizard in the back end? I don't know. Anyways, now Charizard cannot attack this turn. I do know we have two more energies somewhere. It's either in the deck or in the hand. Let's see if Isaiah can make this happen. He can... Boss in the Charmander. If he can Prime Catcher Charmander and kill the Cram, he's got it. Because he he can... Uh, because then he needs one more spit and he wins game. Isaiah might actually be able to catch up here. He just needs two spits. Two spits, two, two bosses or two, two Prime Catchers. Like one prep catcher, one boss, and two spit instantlies. He can do this. Or one spit instantly, one Sableye. He can do this. This has to be it. I mean, this is what your deck does. Bring... Where's the boss? Where's the boss? No boss. That's game over. I mean, he cannot ask to win like this. Now, Torrid, all he has to do is... Wow, Prime Catcher in hand. Prime Catcher. I mean, he doesn't even need to Prime Catcher. Break Candy, Pidgeot. No, he just brings in Boss. I don't know why he attacked with the Charizard, Charmander. Charizard, sorry. I, don't, I really don't. Torrid messed up there. He should have just stacked with the Charmander. But I guess he wants to keep that Charmander... In the, in the game. Doesn't Tord have to also? Yeah, he has to also switch. But he has the Pidgeot now. So he can switch. No, Tord takes out the final out for Isaiah. His Bennett. Wow. Final energy. Put to the Charmander. There's the Charizard the Rare Candy draw. Insane draw, guys. What an insane draw. And now he draws in his final energy, I believe. Or his boss. It's either the energy or the boss, I think. Wait, what's that? Switch? Oh, Super Rod. Super Rod, too. Yeah, makes sense. Put back all your energies. That's so good. Tord's done it, guys. I think Tord's done it. I think I can see it. I can see Tord winning this whole tournament now. Even losing this Charmander doesn't hurt. He doesn't have a Giratina V, so having the Pidgeot EX on board doesn't hurt. Tord's just, Tord's just so far ahead now with the Pidgeot EX in the, and the Beberal in the final stage of the game that Isaiah has no answer for this. He cannot... Iron Hands, you can't Iono me, you can't do anything to me. No Iron Hands in the deck means I have free game. I can do anything I want with my Pidgeot EX. And I don't have to worry. This is really strong gameplay here by Tor. He's done it. He's done it again, guys. He is the champion of the regional. I can see it. Such a strong gameplay. He picked up two items. Sorry, two tools. There's a radio Charizard. Spit. Fire spit. And we can also find the Charmeleon if we want to. One last turn for the Isaiah. Can he make this happen? Moving the comfort forwards. This is exactly what he needs. He has the Greninja. He has the comfort. He can draw four. But he has no answer to this. We have a Pidgeot on board that can pick up anything Tord wants. Tord has all the energy he needs inside the deck. 
We have nothing. We have nothing on board. We don't have a Giratina V. We're going to have to put back our Giratina V, potentially. A Mirage Gate is just not going to do it either. Oh my god, the only thing Isaiah can do here is a Greninja. I forgot. Greninja is his only way, and I don't even think he attacks with Greninja. It's so unfortunate, guys. Because I don't see I don't see any water energy at all. I think he just got rid of all water energy for the jet energies. Very unfortunate there. He cannot attack with the Greninja. That's his only way out. If he could have attached uh, a water uh, green and then attached uh, another water and then switched out, that would have been game. But Isaiah just cannot attack with the Greninja. He has no way out. Just drew a Roxanne. Roxanne can be helpful. But it's just not going to make it happen for us. I mean, Roxanne's going to help. But Tord has the Pidgeot. We need to get rid of that Pidgeot. If we can kill Pidgeot this turn, that Roxanne is broken. We won game because of it. We're about to win game because of it. But uh, we cannot kill that Pidgeot EX. We can't. What does Tor do? What does Isaiah want to do here? I mean, he, he has a cram attack. That's about it. And then once the cram attacks, we evil with Tor, then we win game. And I believe Tor is going to play an insanely fast last turn. Whereas Isaiah is just going to take a sweet time. Super Rod in all the energies. Then move in with the gear. Oh, then we're gonna go ahead and mirage gate the team now, but we can't attack with it. So he's just gonna set it up for next turn. Isaiah's just one turn behind. There's the switch, cram, and, and then he needs to spit. Oh, he call rest. Did he just call rest? I think he just call rest. No, he, he must have just nest balled. Of course, Iron Lease doesn't activate from a nest ball. It has to be from your hand. Too late there, though. Isaiah just does not make it happen. Tor just needs to Evo. One final uh, Charizard, and he has... Nothing. He has nothing. Thinning out the deck before he be barrels. Smart idea. Thinning out his hand as well. He can't even be put anything out so he can be, be barrel. There's nothing he can put out. So he's not going to be able to thin out the deck at any way. He's just going to draw three with the barrel. Hope to God one of them is an ultra ball so he can rare candy the Pidgeot EX. That's it. He needs to get a rare candy or ultra ball or Charizard EX in one in his B barrel play. Or he loses this turn. He actually cannot attack this turn. He'd have to Iono. No, he, he he actually cannot do it. Oh my god, there it is. Towards Judge. He has to do it. It has to be a B barrel. A Charizard EX or a rare candy. This is it. Oh my god, he does it! He drew a Charizard EX! Now he needs the rare candy! The judge saved his life! And that's game over. Wow. Wow. What a game. Wow.